Hello, everyone. My name is Yuko Tomizuka. I'm a global real estate investment advisor, and I have been releasing Japanese business philosophy to you for you to have better flavor of Japanese uh, business practice. And then the key or the secret why and how Japanese have achieved such brilliant goal as we are. Today, I'd like to speak with you about this topic, why the business diversification fails for small to middle companies. This is part one. I'd like to introduce important points regarding the diversification of small to middle sized enterprises. The key points are the follows. Number one, thinking about management's energy allocation. Number two, increasing your energy efficiency. Number three, developing internal resources as division heads. Number four, transferring your energy and mindset to those team leaders. leaders. Number five, to assess the performance, looking at figures as final output of the energy transfer. Let me introduce a case. The main business of the company A is a housing construction. At the time of the second generation, the recycling department and the kitchen design and the sales department was spinned off as subsidized companies under a company group. Bob, the son of the second generation, became the third generation leader and was handed over the business. But the sales decreased significantly. That's why he asked some help or advice to Mr. Inamori. Mr. Inamori shared the tips of diversification. In the following statement, Mr. Inamori's words are quoted as quotation mark. Number one, thinking about management's energy allocation. The point is, in a nutshell, the energy. As did each of your father and mother, we small business owners tend to think about diversif diversifying our business and expanding our company. However, when a manager is devoting himself to one business, he can concentrate his energy in only one area. But when his energy is dispersed into three, he loses an explosive concentration of his energy, naturally. So number two, increasing your energy efficiency. While other companies in the same industry are concentrating on one business, your company, especially the energy of top management is divided into three. It is obvious that you are in a weak position in terms of competition. And therefore, if you want to diversify your business and to look after all the business units by yourself, you must use three times as much energy as you do and work three times as hard as you did before. Otherwise, you could not survive under the harsh competition. No matter what scheme you take, you have to commit yourself to delivering the far more than you did before. In other words, your determination is needed to proceed with the diversification. Upon such determination, you will be able to think about how efficient your energy can be allocated into the learning of businesses. The point number three to five will be explained in the next blog. If you like this content, please click like button here. Thank you for your attention.